So you've done all the leg work now. I promise I'm not gonna make you do any more crunching with numbers or algebra. I just want you to engage visually with what's going on. Okay, what time's the bell go? 40? Good, 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 good. Okay, so, shh. eyes up for a second, eyes up. Um, if Desmos isn't loaded yet, it doesn't matter. I just want you to see what's going on so that when you get to Desmos, you'll know what to do. The first thing we've got to work out is how do we, how do we get this picture? Can we confirm what's going on? Okay, so I'm still waiting for a few eyes up. Still waiting for a few because we're almost all there. Don't type this just yet. Watch as I do it because there's a couple little tricks. Over on the right hand side, in fact, this is just in the way. On the right hand side, you can see that gray button that says functions. Okay, we'll talk, we're going to talk a lot about functions later this year. But under functions, you can see there's a few different categories. There's trig, which stands for trigonometry. There's stats, which stands for statistics. statistics. And then the last one along, you can click on this now, is MISC for miscellaneous. Okay, go ahead and click on that. You should see the same menu I do. Okay. <coughs> now, don't click anything after that. I want you to look carefully. We're looking at logs right now. On this little screen, if I'm counting them right, there are actually three different logs we can choose from. There's only one I'm interested in. See in here, in the middle, there's one that says LN. That's a kind of log. It's an abbreviation we'll worry about later. This one says log. And this one says log. And then there's a little A down the bottom. This last one, that's the one I want you to click. Can you click on that one? OK. OK. Now you'll notice. Up in the top left hand corner, you've got this little log thing appears and your cursor should be at the bottom. That cursor belongs to the base. What's our base? <laughs> two. So go ahead, put two. And then if you use, I mean you can click on it with your, with your cursor, but um, it's a bit awkward for me. I'm going to use these arrows down here, they're a bit more precise. I'm just going to tap once to the right, once again. And now I'm inside the brackets and I've got what inside the brackets? X. X. And automatically, <laughs> ta-da, <coughs> there's the shape. So, shh. okay, now hold on a second, I need to show you something, just bear with me. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Whoops. Okay. Now, um, I said, you, I hope you still got your book there. I said you wouldn't do any more calculations. I wasn't lying. However, you do need to pick up your pencil or pen for a second because I want to show you something that's very closely related to this that will hopefully make everything fall into place. Okay. So, next to where you've done all of your values and what have you, what I want you to remember is, for example, if I say 2 to the 5 equals 32. Sorry, I'll zoom in a little bit. Can you see that? Can you read that? It's a bit messy, but work with me. 2 to the 5 equals 32. So this is an equation which has powers in it, and I can rewrite it in terms of logs. How do I rewrite this thing so it's got logs in it? Tuition, do you want to have a shot? Okay, now, well done, Twisham. Have a look at this. Shh. Have a look at this. These are just saying the same thing. You can even see all the numbers are all the same, but it's just looking at it from a different point of view. Okay, it's like looking at a house from the inside rather than the outside. Same house, different perspective. Okay, now, if that's the case, then think about this, because this is what we've all just drawn and gotten Desmos to graph for us. In just the same way that you can rewrite this exponential as a log, I can write this log as an exponential. What will it be? Think, think before you speak. Take a second, look at the symbols. What I want to point out, I want us all to think about this together. And you can tell us if you got the right answer in a second. Do you see for these first two, let me divide this up. 
For these first two here, right, the bases are the same. Do you notice the two is always down the bottom? Okay, so down here, the same thing will be the case. Two to the power of something. What's the something? See how the five's the power up here? And then it becomes the number over there? So therefore, this is the number on that side. So therefore, this is to the power of y equals x. Okay? Now, we've graphed things a lot like this in the past, but not quite. We've graphed things like this. Uh, where's my colors? Hold on. There we go. We've graphed stuff like this. Right? What's the difference between the black and the red? Yeah, do you see the x and the y's are sort of swap places? Do you see that? So now, up in here, come back to Desmos. What I want you to write is 2. If you look at this a to the power of b button down there, you can get a power out of it. And then go 2 to the power of x. Now, have a look at those two together. Because you've seen 2 to the x before. You've graphed these before. What are they called again? Starts with an E. Not a parabola. What is this guy? It's an exponential, right? Now have a look at this. What's going on? These are related, aren't they? Okay, one more thing. Underneath your two equations over here, I want you to just type one more thing. Just type x. Okay. Now, if you want, pick up your screen, pick up your laptop, and just... um. Just rotate it so that this y equals x line is straight up and down. Do you see it? Can you see that you've got that symmetry there, right? Yeah, yeah. lots of laptops at 45 degrees, okay? So, our log graph is just a re reflected version of this exponential graph, okay? That's their relationship. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay, good. Now, here's where we're going to finish. I'm going to let you have a play a little bit, and then I'm going to assign the first question of the next exercise because you don't need any instruction for it. Okay? Um, see these graphs here? Just um, get rid of them for a second. Just press X and get rid of them. Okay. So now you've got this um, log base 2 of X here. Underneath it, underneath it, I want you to make a new log equation, like so. Go to functions, log base A, and this time, see on the left hand side over here there's an ABC button, you can access just a normal QWERTY keyboard, and just type in A. Okay, once you've done that, chuck in an X. And if you've done it like I have, see how I've got an A there and an X there, it says add a slider, yeah? Can, who, can, who's got the blue add slide button? Good. Okay, click it. Go ahead and click it. Okay. Now, mine currently looks like this. Mine currently looks like this. What I want you to do is just eyes up for a second. Eyes up, and then I'm going to let you play yourself. Okay? Take the slider and move it. Take the slider and move it. What's going on? As you move it back and forth, what are you getting? Good, I heard it. Ellen said it, which is appropriate because Ellen's one of the logs. Um, anyway. You'll understand that joke later on even more. So, as Ellen pointed out, we're changing the base. And as you change the base, do you notice the shape kind of flexes around a little bit? For example, if I go log base 3. Yes, you're right. Well, have a look at this, guys. The green, my green one is log base 3. And my purple one is log base 2. How would you describe the difference? When the base gets bigger, you get this green graph. How would you describe it? Huh. It's tricky to describe, isn't it? Right? You can't simply say, you remember with parabolas? Do you remember with parabolas we made them squishy and fat and all that kind of thing? Right? It's sort of happening, but not really. Because look, this part's getting lower. But this part's getting higher. Do you notice that? Sort of strange. And as you make A even bigger, it gets even more exaggerated. Look at this. There you go, see that? 
So this guy sort of hugs the asymptote even closer, and this one gets even lower. Does that make sense? 